Dude, no. episode 26, we're fucking we're on, fucking bro. Here, we man. made this shit happen after a long, a long night. A long night. I barely woke up. <laughs> <laughs> but my boy, Justin, what's your last name for everybody to know? Reyes. Reyes. Justin Reyes is on. <laughs> Finally, bro. How old are you, Justin? Um, 26. 26. 26, Sagittarius, December. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. We got no, that. I'm not we, too much of this. We got that dude. talk yesterday, you know, about your sign, and uh, you know, it's compatible. We're, we're, uh, we're compatible. Yeah, I think Sagittarius is fire, right? No I idea. We're gonna have we're gonna have to ask either yeah. way. But, uh, bro, how are you? How's life? I'm good. I'm really good. Yeah, life is. I mean, great. Really. I mean, I have my business, family, friends. So. What do you What do you do good. for for work, or what have you done for work uh, lately? So. I have my own real estate business. Mm, mm, there we go. Is, yeah, yeah. Uh, we started about nine months ago. Shit. Yeah. Um, really from the ground up because uh, I used to work at, uh, what should we call it, a warehouse. Mm. So me and, me and my buddy, we uh, it kind of fell into our lap. And um, it, oh my God, I got nervous. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, take a shot. Take a shot. We're going to have to ground up. But, you know, I told them, you know, after we I posted it, was it going to drink today? But uh, we have to do it. I'm getting nervous. We're a little nervous. People don't understand, man. Once you get on, once the camera turns on. I know. I'm like, damn, we're just talking just you, fine. And then yeah, the camera gets on. You tell me when you want to stop. All right, we're good there. <laughs> yeah, once you, once you get on camera, man, it, and it's difficult for... For I know like, air conditioning AC is at on. man, shit's like at sixty nine. Bills are bills gonna go up, but go, uh, tell us, my lower, boy, please, there it lower. is. Ah. You know, clearing it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. So it fell in your lap, bam. <sighs> fell into our lap. Started about nine months ago. I was working at a warehouse. Um, I had just lost my job about eight months prior to that mm. i was working at wells fargo shit i was working two jobs with that it was wells fargo and in and out i was going back and forth flipping the burgers flipping the burgers going back and forth i was doing like 14 hour days jesus yeah so i actually got the job when i was 18 working for in and out and then a year and a half after that i got the wells fargo Mm, it's because okay. I don't like to, you know, just stand around. Yeah, like no to, shit. I like to keep pushing. Correct. So I got the job. I was doing both for about two and a half years. I was waking up around fucking seven thirty and going to bed like at two because you know it doesn't close to one. Yeah. By the time you're out and everything. By the time I'm bang. out, and I fucking wake up again at Wells Fargo, fucking dead tired, bro. Just <laughs> bags and everything. So finally, I was like, you know what? Like, I I want to focus on one of them. So I chose. Wells Fargo, yeah. I said deuces, like, I think I was like 22, I said deuces, and I tried, applied for the banking job, because I was a teller, I got it, and then fucking two weeks later, they fired me, the reason why is because, uh, like, when you go out of balance and shit, like, uh, they, they don't think you're stealing, but you get a certain amount of overages yeah. for the month, and it accumulates for the year, or whatever, so they gave me the job for the banking, and I was in training, and then they they fired me because of the overage like two months right before I uh, uh, right before I got the job. No. So I was like, I was can I quit? Say, I got fuck yeah, with, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I was stuck with like, my dick in my hand because like I had I had nothing else. I yeah, just you quit really it just out. left one. I just left one, and then bam, uh, bam, you're done. I was like, what the fuck? So I was doing a uh, well unemployment, right? So yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck yeah, like hey. And it was who, going who, cool. Yeah, who, yeah who's who not going to get money and then stay yeah. home? So I was doing that for like two months. Two months was cool. I was like, all right, all right, now I start looking for something, you know? Yeah. Uh, nothing was falling. Nothing. I was applying, applying every day, every day, every day. Nothing was falling. And then luckily, like, my, my stepdad, he works for Union Pacific. So mm -hmm. it was a train company. I'm like, yeah. dude, I got to apply, right? Applied three, four times. And no callback, no callback. And then uh, he's like, hey, I finally got you in kind of like an interview. Let me get closer. Yeah, a little closer. A little closer? Yeah, um, I want to hear you. No, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, so he finally got me an interview, not with his company, but with a different company. At least one, yeah, yeah. With one of them, right? So I applied, and I'm like, cool. I got in, and this is this is how I know, like, like the man upstairs and everything. Everything has a purpose, right? Mm -hmm. You can't just get um, what, discouraged. Correct. So I remember going to Long Beach, and I was in a room with all these uh, older people, older men, whatever. I was the youngest one there. We took a test. And then they start doing interviews. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, one by one, you know, you say where you from, your name, this, da, da, da. I thought I thought I did great because I, I studied my ass off for the fucking test. Yeah. And then that uh, I thought I did well. I did pretty good. Well, anyway, no callback, nothing. And I was like, damn. So I had my friend. She was working with an agency. So I hit her up. I'm like, hey, do you got anything just real quick? Because I think I was starting. To come to the end of the unemployment. Yeah. So I think but it started to yeah. set in. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I hit her up. She said, hey, I have this one uh, one job. I forgot the title or whatever it was. It had to do with water, a water company. I'm like, yeah, cool. Something. Something. Yeah, get something. me get me in. Set up the interview. Uh, I get there. You know, you get all palms are sweaty and fucking knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> Mom Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. So I was nervous. But anyway. I got in, uh, I killed it. She she loved me right off the bat. I'm like, cool, you know, when when should I expect a call back or whatever? Oh, you know, a couple of days. So I hit up my friend because they were gonna let her know. And uh, she's like, yeah, they they said you're overqualified. I'm like, what the fuck? What, what the fuck you mean I'm overqualified? Overqualified. Like, oh, I need, my, I need to get this fucking done. Yeah. And you know, I have like two, three months left and like, I can't waste any more time. Damn, fucking overqualified. overqualified. For a, a water company, like I didn't even know what I was gonna. I was gonna file paper and shit, or I don't know what. So, like uh, my confidence was up here, but then I'm like, why? Why was I at the same time? Yeah. She said is because the way you were in the interviews, they assumed that you were gonna leave. So they assumed that I was gonna be there for two, three months, find something better, and then dip. That's how good the interview went. And that's how true it was. And that's how true <laughs> it was because I didn't want to. I mean, I, yeah, I wasn't gonna yeah, stay there. No. Excuse me, but. That's crazy because even so now with everything that's happening, like people, one, I mean, for a while, they've been living off that job of the unemployment and now people do not want to work. And I want to say at least a handful of businesses, jobs, big corporations have that sign in the front uh, hiring. Yeah. Check in oh, yeah, inside yeah. and all See, these. <clears throat> funny thing is that that's now this was like two. This is before COVID, pre COVID. Mm, but yeah, pre -COVID. No, I, yeah, this is pre-COVID. So the, now, yeah, nobody wants to work. Honestly, nobody. Nobody wants to work. And there, I saw that McDonald's is giving like an extra thousand bucks. For Sign this after up. The, after the 30 McDonald's, months. if you're hearing this, we're ready. We're yeah, ready. Yes. But managers only. Oh, managers only. Only oh, and no. how John says, <laughs> how John says, oh, we're, no. we only work terrible. five day, five hours a day and still get paid a lot. We still so. get paid a lot. Yeah. Thank you, John, for letting us know. Shout out. <laughs> but uh yeah, so I that's when I knew that everything happens for a reason. Facts. You know what I'm saying? The trust the process. You, you trust the process for one. And now I know I was meant for this business. Yeah. My real estate business. So can I take you back really quick? Because you were yeah, an ahead. entrepreneur before this. You know that, yes. I, I know this. Of, that's yeah. how <clears throat> I'm that's how I started to know of you because John said that his boy had a business and had a brand and hell yeah right off the bat once we met at uh ola met at ola. Ola. <laughs> i ola. didn't see you making some faces to john i was like oh john my guy but that's right i remember this uh big 260 guy with the ezekiel elliott jersey on I was like, oh, oh yeah man, this was huge yeah, we went yeah, yeah it was me john right. miguel so and ruby and yeah they were at a table across, and there was just all these dudes over there getting pounding, taking shots pounding left and right. right. I mean, we still do that today. We were doing that yesterday. No, we weren't. We were at a, <laughs> we're at church yesterday. Oh, we're okay, having yeah, we're a right. <laughs> my Bible video study. My video. Bible study. Never mind. I posted the videos. <laughs> I'm guilty, but Bible uh, study. yeah. So you started something with your boys <clears throat> a couple years ago. It did. That was yeah. It's got to be at least. Maybe three, three years. You you went all in. You were I in went LA all in. Fitness. Okay, so funny that you bring that up. That was when I, I so we started when I lost my job because I had so much time on my hands. 
So I said, let's 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 start it, cause I mean, my two best friends that I yeah. started with, they had well, they had their jobs. So I'm like, you know what, I, I'm gonna start it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep pushing while you guys are over there. Yeah, let's and do it. Off, let's do it. Yeah. So the funny thing was, is pre that the the God the God Apparel, you know, grind, observe, dominate. That's what it stood for. I what was actually what was that? Grind, observe, dominate. G O D. That's just still the gym, bro. Yeah, that's I still pretty good. We, yeah. The shirt don't fit me, but I saw yeah. the shirt though. <laughs> I don't think we go up to two X. You know what I'm saying? It's no, I'm just kidding. The three yeah, you don't three because now it now yeah. it's like it's for real, Nazikyu yeah. Ali. It's a crop top <laughs> up here. But um, pre that, so this is when I was already working the two jobs, and yeah. that's where I knew I always had something in me that I wanted to be like an entrepreneur, work for myself, Facts. kind of thing. Is I wanted to do something like where, you know, you just have that million dollar idea, you fucking sell it a couple of times and you know Bam. you're set. You're so set. what what was uh I'm gonna tell you right now. So what it was I told my boy, I'm like, dude, what is the one thing that everybody needs? You know what I'm saying? And at the time he was kinda like going to raves and shit. And I'm yeah. like, bro, like what if what if we do fanny packs? Mm. We we put we, you know, we stitch our shit or we get them made and then we sell fanny packs because everybody wants to put their drugs or put their shit. And nobody wants to lose anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, oh, yeah, you know, maybe we could do it. We could do it. But I never really had the balls to just, you know, well, fuck you. I don't need you. I'm going to do it myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, well, fuck it. We, you kind of let it go. You depended on them. Kind of. A little bit. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Like, I had the idea that I was just like, uh, all right, well, like, I don't want to do it by myself. So fuck it then. Whatever. That's scary, bro. I mean, the, yeah. no, on, honestly, like, for anybody that starts something like a business from the ground up, like, it's, it takes, you know, some big Gones. ones. Oh, yeah. It takes some big <clears throat> ones to just to do it put yourself solo? out there. Yeah. Like, and and like to not know if you're going to win. Yeah. And to not know you're going to win. Oh. Like, bro, we, we invested, again, and we I always bring it up. We invested on this not knowing how far we're going to go. And we're just getting started. Same thing with with all the other people that I've seen. And, and just looking at you, knowing you and others that start something. But even if that shit don't work out, we continue on to the next venture and we and we figure it out. And then you know what? You just you just learn. You need to. You, you need to. You learn you lessons. To. So from that, we it kind of faded. And then I remember he was at work, and he's like, "Fuck this!" Like he was used to work too. He's like, "We just need to start a business." Yeah. So God came uh, came along, and we just you know found this guy that it was you know it's funny because like I said, everything happens for a reason, right? So we were, we were talking to this guy like, "Oh yeah, we want to start a, a t-shirt business." And he owns up like a sandwich shop. He's like, oh, you should use my guy. You know what I'm saying? And he pointed to the direction where we used uh, his company to make our printer shirts. It was next level, really nice shirts. Yeah. So we started Yeah, they doing were. That. They yeah, are. Yeah. They are, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> if you have that yeah, yeah. fucking apparel, <laughs> fucking take a picture. I still have them. I'll ta- give them, I'll give ta- them ta- Tag my boy. Tag, bro, those are vintage. They were, they were nice. They were They're nice. vintage, bro. They were really nice. So we, we started that. And then we we blew up right away because yeah. obviously we we're, we're real friend real friendly people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially at the gym, like we talked to everybody. I knew everybody. Yeah. LA Fitness, West Covina. Shout out! Shout out! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, they're like, oh my god, you guys are starting apparel. Yeah, yeah. Hey, here's a shirt. Here's a shirt. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. And the thing was that since we were paying for the higher quality, they were they were more expensive. And oh. we our our margins were like like that. We we're Min. making minimum, we're like t- ten bucks a shirt. You know what I'm saying? So it's really so you need not a, you need to sell ten shirts, right? For twenty bucks each, you make that money. But in reality, you only made hundred bucks. Yeah, and we we didn't pocket anything. We funnel right back into the business. Right yeah. back into the business. Buy more shirts. Buy more shirts. And the funny thing with apparel is you don't know if they're gonna fucking buy them, and you don't know how many to buy. Yeah. Because you could have people like, I want that size, that color. Like, fuck, I ran out. I don't have it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you could have a grip load of that size and that color, this style, and it not sell. And then you're fucking stuck with it. Yeah. Because we're not a big company, so what are we going to do with it? You know what I'm yeah. saying? We just brassed out. Yeah, I think for from what I've seen, too, and, and shout out to my compadre, Hector. Like, he says it. You have, what, 30 items on the market, and you only sell five items. And those five items are making it up for the rest. For the rest. For not selling those. For not selling them. <clears throat> Again, yeah, those, are your top five. those are your top five. Like, when you break it down, but it's that's car parts, car accessories. Yours is apparel. 
apparel, how you said, the higher the quality, the high, the better the, the shirt better, you want, so, the yeah. more it's gonna be. Oh, yeah. So it's just like, all right, if we're only pocketing five bucks, what we gotta split it three ways, me, you, and the and the brand. Yeah. So it's what are you taking a dollar? Yeah, $2? if that. So I mean, when it's those type of margins, why are we even taking it? There's Facts. no reason. Yeah. And then obviously we don't need a fucking dollar. <laughs> you know, they will just keep just keep fumbling. Yeah. So I remember. I mean, we were pushing, and you know what? The funny thing is, I was driving everywhere to drop off the shirts. People were like, "Oh, I want a shirt. Cool. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna meet you." You were driving them Benz. I, I was driving. No, not the not, not that one. Not the Benz. Not that one. Not that one. It was the older one. But I still have Benz. <laughs> yeah, you were funny miles. Away. He <clears throat> wasn't driving a Prius, boys. He yeah. wasn't driving a Prius. No, no. offense. I want. I need a Prius. So when I pulled up with the shirt, they're like, "Damn!" So I'm paying for this Benz too. Like, yeah. <laughs> No, you're paying for the quality, quality. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. No, I was going all over the city, all over the city. I mean, I had nothing but time. Entrepreneur, I was bro. Entrepreneur. You're making shit happen. I had to, I had to, and I was pushing. I was really pushing because I wanted it to blow up. So why did or how? How it did it, 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 t- t-shirts and it's it's hard. It's really hard. It's consistency. Consistency. So. And I kept it up as for as long as I could. But you know what? Like sometimes it just, it just fades out. Like yeah. I said, nobody wanted to pay a little bit more. Because if, if I'm charging $30 a shirt with G.O.D. when they could get that at LiftFit, Gymshark, all these big companies yeah. that already established themselves, they're going to be like, hmm. But it, I, have, I don't know if you have, like, LiftFit, obviously, shout out, Randall, all that company. That Fuck LiftFit, G.O.D. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that, my boy. Uh, Anyways. I'm just kidding. Go um, he's, I, I was watching, I think, one of one of his, like, reels that he put. And just how you said it, he was like, I was getting shirts, selling them out of the trunk of my car. Literally. To make it happen. Facts. Yep. And it, again, now he, that company is, is huge. Gymshark is huge because all these sponsors and stuff like that. But I, I, my opinion, when you start an apparel or when you start a company in general, you need to live by it, die by it. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. need to believe in it, no matter and what. And then, <clears throat> on top of that, so you, I mean, you also gotta know when to when to pull out, because then you don't want to go with the sinking, you know, die with the sinking ship, or what they say the, the yeah. saying. Sure. But you gotta know when to pull out too. So I, f- I figured after a certain while, I was like, yeah, right, it's time, to, it's time to pull out. Dang. You know, and it was, I mean, it was tough because then you have, I have people like you, my good people, like, hey, what happened to your gym, bro? What yeah, bro. Oh, fuck, like, hey. When's the next job, bro? Yeah, when's the next job? <laughs> when's the next job? But I'm like, I need a hundred other people to say that. Yeah. When's the next job? When's you know, the next job? It's, and I've said it even here, like, you know, shout out to all the subscribers, all the people that have watched this. If you haven't yet, like, share, subscribe, like, drop your comment, what you think share, so far. Subscribe. But uh, my goal is not just to get to the people that I know and the, and the guest people that know them, is to get wider, to get to the people that do not know anything about you or me. Mm-hmm. But when they tune in, they figure out the conversation is for them. Yeah, because they, they're, they're people similar. Yes. You know? Everybody needs to hear something. They need to hear a motivational <clears throat> story. They need to hear an inspirational story. They need to see. People know Nipsey. People know Joe Rogan. People know yeah. They know their story. Yeah. You know? What about pre them? When they listen to somebody and then they're like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. I, I relate to that. So let me. Yeah, because let me start. They you know say, "Oh, ten years ago we didn't have this. Thirty, fifteen years ago we didn't have this. Now we blew up, and it's like, damn, I gotta wait ten, fifteen years. Well, how about we go all in and let's see where it goes. Mm-hmm. No, you know, but that what you just said it, man. For those business people that are following with following with that sinking ship, drowning. Sinking ship. There you go. You gotta <clears> know <throat> when. You always have to know when when you need to stop, and yeah. you need to recalculate. You need to rethink your ideas. So when you go back into that industry or whatever next, mm-hmm. you have that already. Like, all right, I learned this. Boom. And you know what? Like, on that topic with the businesses, I'm. This is my fourth business. My boy. So see, this is what we were talking about. That I've already started three prior ones until the real, the real estate. Fuck. So shit, there it is. yeah. So. It was G.O.D., mm-hmm. and we I started an e-commerce with my same buddy that I have the real estate. It was uh, J.R. Costoso. J.R. was Justin, and then Ryan, my boy, Costoso. I'm like, all right, so, like, Supreme is, uh, what is it? Supremo? Supreme. No, I think it's, like, um, <laughs> Russian or something. 
Mm, yeah, it, it's some. It's I it's, looked it up. It's yeah. Supreme is from somewhere else. Yeah. And then um, I just thought of foreign. I'm like, well, foreign like Mercedes Benz, nice. So I was looking up like what's fancy, what's um, a lavish in a different language. Yeah. And then I came up with costoso. Costoso is like Italian for lavish, large. I'm like, all right, cool. So we started uh, like a watch jewelry e-commerce. Yeah, so this is at the time I was with, uh, I was at the, what you call it? Wells Fargo? No, no, no. Uh, in now. No. Next job. Uh, Next job. The warehouse. 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 Damn. I'm there. I was like, damn. All right, so this is it. We're going to start the e-commerce. That's when it started to blow up. Yeah. I'm like, all right, this is going to be e-commerce, and we're going to fucking, that's it. Like, oh, I'm going to quit tomorrow. We're going to blow up. I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the, those people, the 18-year-olds, 20-year-olds are making like 100K a month. Easy. Easy. Just for two clicks, pop. Yeah, so I thought we figured out our niche, and we we got like a couple sales here and there, here and there, a couple hundred bucks, and then it it just it just wasn't going. We couldn't we couldn't figure out how to get traffic. We were paying for um, ads, we we're paying for this, paying for that, and we just couldn't figure it out. And then we how did that one? Oh, that one got shut down because they thought that we were. Um, was it like smug not smuggling money, but we we're moving money through our e commerce. E commerce. Because people from Colombia were buying a bunch of like shit, like twenty dollar, fifty dollar, fifty dollar. And we're like, that's uh, who the fuck is gonna buy from Colombia? Because our target market market was uh, the United States. Yeah. We're here. So they're coming from <laughs> yeah, coming from Colombia, Mexico, and they actually ended up shutting our, our e commerce down. Fuck. So we're like, fuck. Like now what? <laughs> <clears throat> now what? <clears throat> Excuse me. So that happened, and then we a uh, couple months passed by, and then we started another one yeah. when uh, COVID happened. Uh, God bands. Oh yeah, I remember we talked about we that. Talked we about talked about that. that. Yeah. Okay. So that's when you. I think you were you starting this. Or? No, we were. No, I you started were, you were the, something. Yeah, like dog toys and not, cameras. Not drugs. Not drugs. Not, not that. Sling, never. Not we only sling uh, dog toys. Still got them. Some of them, anyways, sitting city market. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hit me up. If you, hit, hit me up yeah, if, yeah, if your dog needs yeah. some love still, because my dog has a lot. Or Any, uh, or mirrors. Or, yeah. So, uh, again, my compadre, he blessed me enough to be like, bro, look, you gotta find your niche. How you said, niche. find your yep. niche, and go all in. So he had he had him sitting there. I was like, look, bro, let me get him. Let me try it out. Mm -hmm. Let me let me. Let me see how. Let me see if I can move. Yeah, yeah, so that's why I started Grind Boss. That's why I started posting it. First thing is I started the page. I post a picture, boom. I got I got uh, people that knew me, supported, doom doom right away. Cool little ones, you know what I'm saying? Make the margin. It was again. It wasn't for me, because my <clears throat> compadre was the one that had them all. Yeah, they were just sitting there. So I was like, all right, whatever I get, bro, it's to you. Mm -hmm. I just want you to see that I'm I'm ready for this. Whatever okay. is I'm coming, capable. I'm capable. capable. So we did, you know, we did a good amount. I did a good amount, and then it just boom stuck. Got the the um, river mirrors, booms going, going. I saw that on the Instagram. And, I saw you pushing, you pushing, slinging them, bro, going, and then that hit a stop. And then he was like, "Look, do you want to go in five hundred bucks? Get this palette." It has all these stuff on it. And that's and when you have to start thinking, like, damn, can I, I can was I, scared. Can I, yeah, I was can scared. I move? That's five, hey, 500 it was, bucks is a lot. That's crazy. So yeah. it was like, all right, 500. I was like, I don't know. He's like, look, let's split it. Mm -hmm. 250, 250. All right. That's cool. better for me. Yeah, cool. So we did it. We split it. We, we, we both got our stuff evenly. And that took, went right away because mm -hmm. we had. It was like car chargers, iPhones, Samsung chargers, and those were sitting. And things are going to sell. But the, da gonna, the yeah. dash cams that came on there, mm -hmm. boom, boom. Uh -huh. And I was like, hey, bro, you got more? Oh, let me hit up whatever. Boom, we got more. Slanging them. So, again, mm -hmm. how you said, I had certain items sitting there, mm -hmm. but yep. this one already surpassed my, my money back, my... Everything. Everything, everything yeah. And <clears throat> slanging them, saying them, and I could not. I still have some sitting there. Because it, it stopped. I still have fucking shirts. I have I have a box. We're gonna sling them, bro. What's yeah. the price we're gonna give yeah. these mother? <laughs> <laughs> Ven Venmo for five bucks. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Venmo five bucks and I'll give yeah. you a shout out. Yeah. So uh, no. So like whenever, but I mean, side note, but whenever, but, hey, what happened with the shirts? No. What size? What size you need? I'll give yeah. it to you. Like, how much? Not. Nah, like, 
Just take him. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's it's so dope of you to do that because it's like, bro, you worked so hard on this. Then you already knew it didn't happen. Yeah. And instead of being, eh, in, in a sense, like money hungry and just selfish, be like, well, I'm gonna charge you still the same price. Yeah. Same yeah. Time, yeah. Or I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get my money back, or I'm trying to like make a little bit more. You yeah. Know? Like, nah, bro. Like, go ahead and take it. It's it's a gift. What what am I gonna do with an extra twenty? Like, so now that uh, now that that happened, and then the e-commerce got shut down, COVID happened. You got you got the bands. And if I, that God bands, <clears throat> we did that. Um, yeah, again, it, that one just, it didn't even take off. It, we tried it. We couldn't do it. And we're just like, oh, fuck it. We'll just, we'll just kind of like leave it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, let me see God bands. Okay. So then this is the real estate. It fell into my boy's lap. He saw it on TikTok. It's called virtual wholesaling. Like you're, you're an investor. Yeah. And we looked more into it, and then what, they, what we call it was at YouTube University. So we were just watching a bunch of YouTube videos of these people that were doing it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> but, um, and then you get a little bit more inspired when you see somebody younger. And doing, doing it. it. Making it happen. Making a killing. Like, damn, what the fuck am I doing just sitting here we're working at, you know, where yeah. I was like, bro, I could be making, like, well, I've seen a couple of videos of these guys making 200000 a month. 19, 20 year olds. My God. All right. I'm, I could do this. You know what I'm saying? So we did YouTube University, figured it out, and I'm like, all right, man. I think we could do this. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I used, to, well, I know you know this, but watch uh, Steve Harvey. Yes. That's, yes. That's the man. We'll take a shot. Let's take a shot. Yes. Steve. Steve Harvey. Where we at? 26. 26. Oh, we'll take a shot for Steve Harvey, and then you already know how we do out here. This is holy water here for anybody that needs it. Holy water, Bible studies. Bible studies. Again, if we get to 300 subs and we get over 1,000 a a thousand, uh, followers on IG, we might give one of these holy waters out. There we go. One that we really drink. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, we just put water yeah, in it. Put water yeah. in it. There it is. Okay. Okay, so we just took toast. a shot, right? Yes. A toast to Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Because you said you would watch him a lot. I had watched him a lot right before I quit. Mm. Mm, at least a month before I quit. Yeah. And he's talking about finding your gift. Uh, he, he's all about the Lord, right? Yeah. You, you, you hear him. Yeah. Find your gift. Your hold gift. Hold on to it. And it will pave the way. It will pave the way. Um, he also says taking a leap of faith. Yeah. And I, I would hear that because I, uh, I, I live in Baldwin Park. And I worked in uh, like San Dimas area. Oh, okay. So yeah. like 15 minutes. Yeah. And his his videos are only like three, five minutes long. Yeah. So I'm getting at least three or four in. That's and I'm like, fuck, dude, come on, come on. You know, just take a leap of faith. You're going to get, you, you get your knees scraped. Yeah. But God's not going to let you just fall. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's not going to let you stay down. He's not going to let you stay down. And I, the, our business for well, real estate, we're like, it, kept, it kept popping in my head. And I was like, dang. Every day, I listen to him, listen to him, listen to him, listen to him. And then my buddy Ryan, he had a, like a really, he went to college. He did the, he did the whole 12 the whole, yards, yeah. whole nine yards. Uh, he had a sales job at a pretty good company. Uh, was like selling airplane parts and stuff. I oh, mean, sure. it was, it's airplane parts, but it, you know. He's, he was doing good. Yeah, he's doing good. Sales job. Secure, it's sec secure, bonuses. Secure job, everything. And this motherfucker. Tells me, cause I would I would feed him like, hey, listen, to Steve Harvey, listen to uh, what's it, Les Brown? You listen yeah, to Les yeah. Brown? Yes. Uh, Nipsey, I know you like Nipsey. Yes, sir. He's a motivation too. He's, if, yeah. He's if you if, listen to podcasts and listen to just those snippets of videos uh, when they really talk, not when they sing, when they're just talking about the journey. I'm talking about the, uh, the journey, the struggle, um, being intuitive with yourself and finding the gift. Yeah. It's always all of them. The gift. Uh, you know, Russ. Yeah. Gift. Same thing. same thing. Same thing. So he tells me, he goes, he's like, I'm gonna quit. I'm like, you I'm like, you're gonna quit. And I was I was still kind of scared. Yeah. And he goes, I'm gonna quit. I'm like, well, if you fucking quit, I'm quitting. Damn. And we're gonna go we're gonna go all in. So he's like, all right, cool. We'll do it then. And then uh I think he put in his two weeks October, October, October something. I remember my date, uh, October 16th, my last day. That's it. That's it. Yes, do. 
And I told myself, I'm going to try to save up at least so like three, four racks before I quit. Because then I'm like, damn, yeah. that's, that's it. You got to take care of it. You got to take care of what you already have, right? Yeah. There, there's no more <clears throat> There's no more check every two weeks. No. Nothing secure. Nothing secure. Nothing. That's it. Yeah. So I remember this. I was, I was like five points away because I was trying to pay off my credit cards before I quit. Yeah. Five points away from 700. I was, I was proud. <laughs> Right, I mean, seven hundred for me. I was like, damn. We went to the Apple store yesterday. I got the new phone, and the guy, I gave him my Apple credit card, right, to pay it. Yeah. He was like, "Oh, you want to use that?" I was like, "My boy, credit is gold out here, my guy. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Don't worry about what I put on there. Yeah, it gets paid off. Swipe it. Swipe I was it. like, this doesn't come just to anybody. Yeah. Here it yeah, is. Yeah. So. Anyways, so. So I was I was proud of myself. You yeah, know, fuck yeah, you need like, to. I was so seven hundred, right? No one knows that. No yeah. one knows that you Nobody need to knows. have credit. Nobody knows. So I was damn near seven hundred. I was like, cool. I had about like four racks saved. Put on my two weeks. I took a leap. Sauce. Sauce, just like that. Everybody was surprised, right? Don't cry, fool. No, it's I right. know. Fool. I'm already getting <laughs> teary, I dig. So mind you, I was I was with the agency, so yeah. I was not hired on. I wasn't. Yeah. So I put in the two weeks. Everybody's like, damn, what the fuck? Like, hey, you know, we're going to miss you. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a solid worker. Yeah. I get shit done. That, that's how I am. You know what I'm saying? I, pr- I, I push myself. So anyway, they're just like, damn, we're going to miss you. This is a blah, 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 right? Like, all the fucking socks <laughs> here. Like, oh, we got to oh, hang out. Justin, yeah, we got Justin. Justin, we got to hang out after. Like, dig, I'm going to hang out. Right, for sure, for sure. Call me. Call text me, me. Text me. Oh, my God. Add me on this girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Anyways. Ooh. My boy quits two weeks prior to me. October 16th, quit my deuces, young boy. Yeah. Side note from that, couple fast forward a couple months later, <clears throat> my homegirl that was working there, Tess, she goes, "You're not gonna, you're not gonna believe this." She she was working there with me. She's a real cool girl. Uh, she's like, "You're not gonna believe this." I'm like, "Well, what happened?" She's like, "They were already talking about hiring you on." When you quit, when you put in the two weeks, the, it w- it was already in up the up the ladder, in the chains. It was already gonna get approved to yeah. hire me on, and to to put me on the team because you know the agency they only pay you a certain amount. Whatever. Correct. And then obviously once you get hired on, you could probably ask for like raise, like this yeah. is what I work, like what's up, you know. Team one. And I, I'm a, like I told you before this, I'm an open book, so I was getting paid seventeen fifty, which is you more than when I had nothing with seventeen fifty, I'll take it. It's cool. It's cool. So I was going to ask maybe 19, like, hey, fuck it, this is what my work's at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, if that would have went through, I might not have, I might have, I might have just stayed 19 bucks to do just a warehouse job, you know, fuck it. Yeah. But the fact that I didn't quit, or I, that I didn't know about that, and I quit, that's how I know everything is lined up. Yeah, because you left it for something that, that was... That I'm pursuing You're pursuing, job. and it was, again, bro, it was in... In the air, it's not for sure. It's not like, are you gonna quit? Get be an entrepreneur. You're gonna get paid every two weeks, every week. It's like I am leaving for what I I believe in, and I don't know what's happening. Yeah. So, and the, man, it's just crazy to think about it. Like the outside looking in now, like what would have happened if they offered me the job right before I quit? So, I mean, obvious. The obvious question that anybody would ask: Do you regret it? Absolutely not. Fuck yeah. That's that's when you know it's a, you did the right, you made the right move. Yeah. Because a lot of people right now, and I'm sorry to burst your guys' bubble, and I'm going to cut this up and I'm going to put it on, on that video, but a lot of people just settle for what other people think you're worth. You're only worth 15 bucks an hour, you're only, and you can get paid 20 bucks an hour, and you can still be miserable, but because they're paying you that, you'll stay until <laughs> you're that's fucking it. 30 years old, can still complaining- it. But it's like, and I was just saying it, and I told her, I told Brittany earlier in the week, and I've and I've said it to like John, I said it to others. How do I know what life would be with the podcast or with business ten years from yeah. now? I don't know. But at that point, if I want to start it, then I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna be like, fuck, I should have started. You don't want to look back and be like, damn, I should, I should have started the business. I yeah. should have done this. I should have done that. Because you're, tw- you said twenty six. Twenty six. We're both, we're both young. In order to I'm do younger, this stuff. fool. 25. I'm younger. Oh, <laughs> man. 
<laughs> yeah, he, he would he would put that on there. I'm gonna be honest. I'm younger than Justin. Yeah, relax. Justin relax. is gonna get senior citizen discount before I am. Oh, yeah, like eight months. So like in the age <laughs> difference. But uh, yeah, dude. But like, uh, you know what? I I look younger though. So my boy is buff. <laughs> if the camera doesn't do it justice, my boy is buff. No, but hang on, hang on. uh, let me flex. Send your comments. Who's yeah. buffer? <laughs> There we go. We did this yesterday. <laughs> Josh, where you at, Josh? Josh. Um, no, okay, so I, I quit, right? Yeah. Okay. For Rex, my credit cards, credit cards weren't fully paid off. Not all of them. Yeah. Okay. So I go out there. I'm like, all right. So I, I think I did like two months in advance kind of thing. Like I put like a fat down payment down. I'm like, cool, cool. I'm good. I'm thinking we're gonna kill it because we did all the research. We 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 paid. Like all you the, prepared for I this. I prepared to quit and start making feria. Eight months go by. How much feria? Nil, nil, nada, nothing. Discourage, bro. Like, and what I wanted to do in this podcast, bro. Honest, and this episode with you because you said it yesterday. You want this episode twenty six is gonna be the best episode. It's gonna be the best day. fucking one. Talk about the this uh, briefly <clears throat> the discouragement scene zeros. Did you want to quit? Did you want to give up once again, or what went through like your head, okay. bro? So I'm gonna go through like. So I have my my girlfriend, right? Yeah, she's been with me through through the businesses. Yeah, down and under. She's down and you. under. Okay, she's been like that. Yeah. So when I told her I'm gonna quit. <laughs> kind of lost her shit you know what I'm saying like dude like you need somebody to secure you can do this you yeah. do that right I'm like nah like Steve Harvey fucking tell me to take a leap man. <laughs> <laughs> you know if you're gonna blame someone yeah, blame Steve blame, blame Steve Steve yeah. told me to take a leap leap of yeah. I'm taking a leap so anyway the three businesses obviously they fail right uh, and th- this is a big one because I'm, I'm quitting for this business yeah once again and once again three months go by nah that Four, five, six, nothing. She's. I'm sorry to bring your issues on there, but like, did that create trouble at home, like with her and stuff mm. like that? Because again, it, it, it brings it brings a little bit of argument, right? Yeah. Because oh, I'm, it, it I, I want to, wanna, I really want to put it out there. Like, yeah. it's it's not easy, right? Me and Brittany, we, if you're behind the scenes, if you're at home, like we know this. Every couple it, has it, their, it has, their yeah, yes. it has their, their doubt. Like, their how doubt are you gonna leave something that's secure? To something that's just up in the air and you have no idea what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like we don't we have no idea if one day this will get monetized. So uh, yeah, so imagine <clears throat> you have you know, your kid, you're with Brittany. Yeah. And you're like, I'm go I'm go podcast full full blast. Full on in, my job. In. Yeah. And what the fuck <clears throat> she's gonna lose. She's yeah. Gonna, what the fuck is going on? Well, <laughs> so so like I said, six months go by, nothing, and we have our arguments about it a little bit, but I told yeah. her, hey, you need to fucking trust me. Yeah. Right? I'm a positive person. I'm a was it positive Nancy? What did it say? Positive Nancy or positive Sally? Something like that. Yeah, right? yeah. something like something that. like that. I'm I'm very positive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I think if if I think right, every, everything's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go in my favor. If you the put car, your energy in there, fold yeah. in you put your energy saying? in there. And, yeah, uh, <clears throat> I'm putting the man there. hours right. So the day I quit, I work b- damn near seven days a week. Ever since then, I didn't. I didn't take no days off. I was always on the phone. I was on the laptop trying to email people for the properties. This, this, and that. I'll, I'll go in a little bit more detail into that. But seven months go by. Damn, like nothing. And finally, we got out like our, our first deal. Seven months, thirty days in each month, more or less, to over two hundred days. Months. No check. Bills are at the door. Like I, I made enough. Like or I saved enough just to pay. The bait, like the car, the car insurance, got to pay the gym, <laughs> the gym, the, the phone. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> yeah. The the main ones, you know what I'm saying? The necessities, the, bro. The necessities. the necessities. Obviously, the credit cards were a necessity, but I'm like, all right, 25 a month, I'm going to fucking push them back. Yeah. And they started calling me at the door like, hey, we need we need the credit card payment. We need the credit card payment. I started pushing them back because I'm like, I couldn't because I got to save at least for the car. I don't want to get my shit repo. Yeah. So that started going back, and that's when I started like, now I gotta keep pushing, right? So get this, month six or seven, right before we got our first deal, I'm like, I gotta do something. I think I had like 
put a thousand in my account, my car payment was due. I just got a new car right before I quit too. <laughs> funny, funny, right? <laughs> Irresponsible, responsible. I don't know. Six hundred bucks. Jeez. My car payment. Six eighteen. I have a thousand in my account. I think I paid the car. I'm like, dude, I gotta do something. And then I was like, I'm gonna do Uber Eats. Fuck it. I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm just gonna drive around everywhere, right? Yeah. I did it a day and a half. Cause that told me that there's a plan B. And entrepreneurs, you know, that there shouldn't You've, be a plan B. It's no. all plan A. That's why I've heard it. If you think of a plan B, that means you're taking away from plan A. Boom. Your energy from plan A. And you you know you're gonna fail because you have a safety net. Yeah. So I said, fuck the safety net for one. Two, I didn't want to meet people driving around. I remember I drove from what is it like the West Coast Mall all the way to like LP, like deep LP. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. these are the man hours I could be focusing well, on. Just not not a to your horn, but how I see myself, probably how you like, you probably told yourself like, I'm Justin, I'm this, I'm meant for this type of thing, but not where I'm doing now. And then there's no disrespect to those people doing not at all. And there's not no at disrespect. All. To Everybody has their lane. Everybody has their yeah, own lane. Yeah, and the, uh, the nine to five, the the forty hours a week, the this, the that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm different. I don't, I don't like that. We build different. We're, we're, we're built different, we're right? Build different. So and then <clears throat> sidetrack like like McGregor, like where he came from. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I remember I I listened to his story too because he's the biggest shit talker. But you know what? His inspiration is yeah. Is if you really crazy. You, again you. I I encourage everybody, bro. Everybody watching right now, mm-hmm. the two viewers when we <laughs> the hundred, the two hundred, go the ten thousand. Yeah, whoever's out there, go find something that just makes you want to listen. Mm-hmm. I hope this. If you watch this far, you literally go find your favorite artist, your favorite athlete. <clears throat> watch their story. Their their there's always a. Uh, a narrative about them, go watch it. And go where, you, where you could kind of connect. Yes. So we obviously, I connected more with him where he was, he was, he was a plumber. Mm, yeah. I don't know if you know, but he was a plumber for, I think it was like a year, two years. And you know what? He quit. He went all in. He went all in. He quit. He's like, I'm going to focus on MMA. Yeah. Cause I, I, I seen it and he said like he was, him and his wife were living off of like the welfare, welfare. And he was fighting, mm-hmm. and then till he got the big break. The big break. And he bit the bullet. He went, lived with his mom in an apartment with the girlfriend. And they waited until their big break, the dream yeah. you know, started to come true. And, and uh, so, like we said, he went all in. Shit, now he has a fucking Lamborghini yacht. So, oh my god, I we're gonna talk about the journey, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, we're I think we're six months. I said six, seven months. I'm doing the Uber Eats a day and a half. I said no. I'm like I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. Come to find out, uh, we have this deal. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Uh, we have this deal, right? I I hit this um, no my partner actually hit uh, hit this person on Zillow. We mm-hmm. find this this property, get it under contract. We're trying to sell the contract because that's what we do. That's what wholesaling is. Get the contract, sell the contract. Yes, sir. It's we're basically middleman. You're the middleman. I'm the middleman. I contact the home seller. Hey, let's negotiate a price. Blah blah blah. Real quick. Cool. I get you under contract. I sell the contract. Hey, I got this house, and it's usually at a deep discount. You know, because if you put it on the market, you're asking for pretty much up here, right? Yeah. So anyway, we get it, right? We think we have a fucking gold mine. And then there's tenants that don't want to leave. And we're we're sitting on the contract for, uh, like, I think we had two weeks because we had to close the 21 days or whatever. <sighs> Excuse me. And then this guy hits me up on Facebook because that's where you usually do your marketing. Yeah. Hits me up. He said, hey, like, let me let me see the property. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work out for me. Fuck. And we've gotten a lot of those. Like, hey, it doesn't work out. Numbers are too tight. We locked it up too high. So he goes, hey, well, I mean, I don't want that one, but I, I have a couple if you, you know, if you want to try to find somebody. And then we'll just split the profit. And call it like a joint venture, JV. Yeah. So I was like, well, yeah, shoot them over. We ended up losing our property. But the property that he sent us, he sent us a couple. We got that one sold. So, 
and <laughs> and then before him, right? We we had we had a buyer. Yeah. Set to buy the property. He he put the the EMD the earnest money. I'm sure you know what that is. The earnest money into the escrow. He was gonna buy the property. They went to go take a look at it, and they're like, nah, like you know what? It's kind of it's kind of fucked up. Like we need a lower price, lower than what we had a, originally locked up for. So we went back to the seller, try to negotiate the price. And if he, well, he said no, yeah, but it took him like a day and a half to think about it. But if he would accept that, we've only me and my partner would have made uh, ten grand, five each. Yeah. But the fact that he said no, and we met this new guy that we've been doing deals with ever since then, which was now like four or five months now, and then we've been, we've been building up. The, well, I, we would never met him if he would have said yes to sell her. Yeah. So that's what, again, I'm like, everything that happens How wait, for The a way reason. the cards are played, the way it plans out, the way things just get put into place at the right time. And if something's going wrong for anybody out there, you, anybody, you can't get too upset because it, it's happening for a reason. I'm living proof, the jobs, all of the jobs. I'm o- overqualified. <laughs> for what the fuck? Shit. Like man. I needed that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't overqualified. These these jo- the these houses not landing. Yeah. But it landed me that person that's feeding me these new deals that we're Facts. that we're getting. Yeah, because when you want to again, when you want to talk about a success story, or you want to talk about someone who has made it, I think this episode, right? And we're going to figure out this title uh, from going entrepreneur and knowing since years ago that you're meant for something more than just a nine to five. Yep. Again, some nine to fives are, are paid really well and secure and you're happy and I'm glad for you and I'm really happy for you. But if you're someone like like me, like Justin, like others that you you guys may know yourselves, we're those people that. At one point, we just had to tell ourselves, like, we're meant for something more. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're meant for bigger things. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with being yeah, okay not, with, not with at medi- all. mediocre. No disrespect. But, I mean, if you want to be like that, then cool. But I know for a fact you're an alpha male. I'm an alpha male. Got to be. And we, we want to be we want to be up here. Yeah. That's it. You have, That's it. Again, it's <clears throat> and how I always say it, it's like, bro, I don't want to be 20 years from now, 10 years from now, or even five years from now and say, well, why did I, why did I not continue? Yeah. Why did I not start this at that point? Why yeah. did, why did I hold back? Yeah. Or why did I blame my significant other or my, my friends for holding me back? Don't. No. At the end of the day, even if they hold you back or talk down on you or to not do it. You're the person. You're the and man. You're the woman. You just got to take a leap. If if you're even thinking about starting a business or or anything, just 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 do it. You got you know to, bro. You got. I mean, to. don't be as risky as me because <laughs> uh, I only had four thousand and I you, get paid for eight, eight nine months. Now almost. do you, so now that you're winning, you win good enough that you're just like fuck yeah, like this is where I'm good, but not not where I want to be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So right now we're 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 cool we're we're steady pace yeah so and I remember from you know the first th- first days when we started like I was afraid to get on the phone yeah ever since I was a kid like I would tell my mom like hey can you can you call this this lady for me or for whatever <laughs> like uh, the doctor can you can you call for me yeah even eighteen nineteen I was like that was kind of like embarrassing like but I was nervous to get on the phone with people. Like, I was really nervous, and, like, I just didn't know the questions, the right questions to ask or whatever. Yeah. Even if I already knew the question prior, I'd be like, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she's like, you're going to have to figure it out one day, you know what I'm saying? So we we would rock, paper, scissors on who uh, who would have to call the homeowner. Because, I mean, you're calling about buying their home, yeah. and you're supposed to sound like a, an investor, you know right. what I'm saying? So I was, I was fucking, it was nerve-wracking. Yeah. And then push back forward today... I'm talking to big time investors. We have uh, big time uh, apartment complexes. So like right now, I'm dealing with one in Florida, 275 million. What the fuck? I swear to God, 275 million. I have a Fullerton right now, uh, 31 million, 98 unit. I have uh, Texas, 200, 400 unit, 37 million. So now in like retrospect, like that, those numbers don't scare me anymore like before yeah. like you 37 million you're like oh my yeah. god like i'm set for a like, lot bro it's like 
in the real estate game, it's like it's not like two hundred seventy five million now. It's like okay, that's a good amount of money. You're just hungry because You're all right, hungry. if you get this thirty million, two hundred million, whatever, what could I? What's the next one? And then and then oh, I was telling Brittany yesterday. I'm like, when you kind of look at me, you don't see like oh, a real estate investor that's talking to investors. You're a model. Tell everybody already. You're you're a model. He's a sw- he's that Hollister. He's a swimsuit model. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was telling her. I'm like, when you look at me and we're having a good time, you're like, this guy doesn't talk to uh, real the actual big. He doesn't talk to the big people. People for two hundred seventy five million dollars or two hundred seventy five million dollars properties. I don't look like that type of person, right? Yeah. So that's why with people who look like me or going through my type of road. I'm like, you guys can do it. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the when first impressions. Is, you know, you're tatted. Good, look, good looking man. Don't judge it. Yeah, no gotta judgment. Be honest. No judgment. Yeah, but right. you know, growing up, like just seeing that first impressions and how people either judge you right off the bat. Yeah, uh, totally. Is that fair? Not fair? Were they right? Were they not right? I'll, uh, okay, so what I've gotten most when people that I don't really know and then come to tell me is that i don't <clears throat> serious not serious uh i look like a person that kind of knows what he wants and is like very direct yeah uh straightforward yeah um i look like a person that gets shit done kind of thing i don't i mean yeah asshole ass <laughs> more or less <laughs> like, yeah people say i look like a fucking dickhead but i'm not though when you once you start to come you to have know to. me but I feel like I I perceive that in the in the beginning, you know. What I'm so saying? you think that's fair to other people, per, like judging them off their appearance? No, it shouldn't be. There should, there should be no judgment. You know why? Because Tell the people, this, this bro. is this is this Tell is only this is only the beginning, right? I plan on getting my hand, my back, my legs, my arms, and I'm gonna be deep in it with real estate, yeah. and I have to meet people. Because uh, me and my buddy went to a luncheon with another investor a couple weeks ago. And I was afraid. I don't know. I'm like, should I wear a long sleeve? Should I not? And I was like, 95. You know what I'm saying? I chose not to because you, sh- you shouldn't judge me. Right. Because I hadn't met her, but I was on the phone, right? I, f- I sound witty. I'm good. I know my shit. So when, I- when I'm in front of you, <laughs> nothing, sh- nothing should matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think you should judge a book by its cover. Damn. It's true. You never know who that person may be under the tattoos, under the clothes. Like, bro, honestly, and when you get to meet new people, there's only one way to fi- figure them out, and that's actually conversating. conversation. You need to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. That's why, again, out of this podcast, you need to be able to have a conversation with whoever, because whoever. there's people that you may not like, for no reason, just off of what people, other people have said, that once you get to know them, they might be those people that you just need in your life. And you just need to peer back, uh, peel back the layers. How long have you been friends with uh, with your, your the, buddy? My business partner, yeah, yeah. best friend, partner, uh, sophomore year, Damn. freshman year. So it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> I'd say 13, 14 years. Yeah, right? Because well, you graduated 14, 13, 13, same year. Uh, yeah. Jesus, yeah. Seven. So we're going to 10, 10 11? 10, yeah, 11, 11 years. 12, 11, 12 years. Yeah. Damn. So he's, 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 he's been there with the roller coaster. So I want to <clears> pick <throat> niche. I already know we're, we're almost. Damn, we got two minutes? <laughs> Shit. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right. So we're starting again. No, I'm just kidding. This is, damn, we're going, we keep going, so we're going to take another shot because this has got two really good, so pour your cafecito because I know this is 30 in the morning. Grab your panecito your and panecito. your blanket your, and tune in. Tune in, and if you're, <laughs> if you're an alcoholic. Hey, white or pink? White. Oh, damn it, I'm pink. Pink for sure. Pink, it's cochinta? White or chocolate? No. Now, you know what, that, what, did, what I, you need more? No. Cool. I call it the pan de bolitas. Mm, the bolitas, the, the colorful ones. If if you guys don't know, it's uh, it's what, uh, how do you say in English? Bread with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how do you say in English? I'm like, bread those with, you know, I don't know. Bread like, with conchita, uh, the, bol- conchita. Conchita. <laughs> conchita. It's like the Mexican bread with the the, 
the little yeah the little tiger stripes <laughs> yeah i know it, you should put a picture i think there's even an emoji now so right here check it out so yeah get it get your, whatever you're doing two conchitas two conchitas there it is Woo. Ooh. Again, we're not sponsored by uh, nobody. That was fucking warm. You know, I'm going to talk to Justin after this. We're going to invest in our own tequila so we can drink it. Yeah. Uh, the Rock, you have competition. I know. You sound empty, my boy. I know. Do you need to just pour some in there? You want some Monster? I'll get, I'll get a little squirt. Like that. Uh, well, you know, we have a... Uh, Brittany is a, a woman of many talents. She's yeah. a camera person. She is hugging us up. The bartender. So. Uh, bartender mom, mom of two there it is. well mom of three you know, he's a big baby <laughs> sometimes sometimes do you need uh, ice do you need no ice? no i'm cool with ice thank you all right so we're gonna put this over here so while we're pouring this up right what well, do you gotta do the tequila first we're gonna put that first while so while we're we're pouring this up for you because you're a little thirsty my guy along the journey did you lose friends did you keep friends or did they all stay the same great Question. I want to be real, be transparent. Great question. Okay. Chill. Chill. Okay. So it's funny that you asked that. <clears throat> Beforehand, I used to be the guy that would hit everybody up. What are you doing this weekend? Let's, Let's get something. together. Yeah. Let's do something. I'm having this. My birthday. It's my boy's birthday. I'm yeah. going to bring you. You're with me. And it was cool. It was cool for a while. And every now and then they would hit me back too. Yeah, for sure. Come yeah. this way. Come that way. But then as I was getting, I want I don't know if say older, older, but then like. Trying as, to poke, as life kept going. As life kept going. I was like, I don't need to keep hitting people up. I yeah. don't. Because for one, like if, if they're not reciprocating what I'm, my energy, and if they're not calling me saying, Jay, where you at? Like. Yeah. Come here. I got my family party. I want you there. This is that. That's important, bro. When you go to family parties, family parties, you get bro. Invite, like you get invited. Like you're invited already to the baby shower, my boy. Yeah. Oh, Said I'm, and done. I'm be there for show. Sure. I'm gonna get him a Steeler jersey. Everything. He is not <laughs> invited no more. We're <laughs> cutting him off right now. Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, family parties for one, right? So I got I got the five main friends. I got Josh and John. You, yeah. You guys. I mean, I'm always I'm at their house. You're yeah. always at their house. Everybody's at their. <laughs> yeah, everybody's at their house, and they're always at you know. Yeah. Well, whenever I have something. Yeah. You know, bring, definitely. Bring Dusko, bring all of them. So. That's important to me. Facts. So the people that didn't, like I said, reciprocate my energy or didn't push that to me, I say, you know what? I don't I don't need Facts. to keep hitting people. Facts. And the funny thing was. <clears throat> I got a I got a new phone, new number. Mm. So I told myself, I said, if you don't have my number, like if I didn't text you directly, here's my new number. You know how people put it on Instagram, like oh oh yeah, they up. they put it out there and be hey, like, I got new, a new, new, new number, number, new phone, hit DM me up, DM yeah. me. I didn't do that. I said yeah. my main people got my new number. I said save my number. Everybody else, get fucked. And sometimes you have to cu- you have to cut people that just don't serve a purpose. You know what I'm saying? So I chose uh, to take a step back and not hit up the people that didn't really like kind of like hit they didn't me give back. you that same love back, that same yeah, energy the same back. energy. And the funny thing is that they they still have it. They haven't even noticed. It it was like nobody like it, it turned a page and it, it was cool. it didn't uh, again. And how we say it, if I don't affect your life. If I don't even know you in the last six months, if I don't even know what you did or you don't know what I did, if even in three months, two months, like, again, and how Ash, uh, the other guest, Ashley said it, Gabby said it, we don't need to talk every day. We don't need to f- conversate every week. Nope. But when something major is happening, like what we did yesterday, and we're all there, it's like, this is what it's about. Oh, yeah. Love is out, is out here. Brothers, yeah. like, sit, like, we're all, all the people that really care about each other are here, like. And just to talk about yesterday, I was, I was, I was happy, you know, why? because I didn't see a lot of people that, that he knows. Yeah. I, w- I was one of the, the few people and with you, I was like, damn, that's, that's kind of nice, you know, because yeah, bro. I always tell them and I always tell you like, come on through. And yeah. So I, it made me feel a type of way. So yeah, that's I why can. I drove that 40 fucking 50 minutes to go Same, to bro. the like, spot. So I, I want, I, I want John and Ashley to understand this. <laughs> But 
<laughs> I want them to understand this that and for anybody watching like it there's no distance right so we out here in Fontana we had to go to Covina to Whittier right and then Whittier to Newport got all ha- yeah we got lost we got a little happy you know what I'm saying we don't we don't talk about that oh I ended up some I went somewhere else don't worry about that Shh, cut it out anyways so for after we're done we still had to go back to Whittier we still had to go be parents Pick them up. We started to come all the way back to Fontana. We did a two-hour drive, That's love. bro. That's love right there. And I and I, and I and if you ask John, John, you're gonna get on camera, and I'm gonna tell you this anyway. But I told him, I was like, bro, there we had to be here no matter what yeah. because yeah, because I told her and I, I was like, bro, these people ask. Ernie's here. Raul, even Ralito went to the extent as soon as he seen us, he tried to go get us in from the security guy. I said, yeah. Bro, I tried. I tried. I was yeah, like, bro, that's cool. Don't yeah, worry about yeah. it. But even he said it. And when he said it yesterday, it kind of hit me because it was it was before alcohol. Because he was like, Bro, I have so much fun when you guys are around. And I'm like, bro, that's love. That's love. That's love. So I didn't go through through all that like you did with the driving but you know what it was it was yeah it was like, like fuck, fuck 40 minutes back five. yeah i'm like fuck well it's still 50 minutes but newport bone park but we made it we made it we made and it you know what it, we are out there to just show love and with the people we love yeah man so that's that's that's, that's, a, that's what it's about for sure. yeah like and i encourage everybody like if how Kevin Gates says it. you need to cut the grass to see the snakes, cut them off, cut them. Facts. You got to get them out because there's a lot of people again, and we said it, and I've said it again. There's a lot of people that are just not meant to be in your life. Yeah. With everything you got going on, they don't deserve to be a part of it because they don't they don't give you that they don't give yeah. you that love they don't give you that respect they don't see what I don't I don't expect people to see what I see right. For my future, that's. But I just need I'll you to res- I just I'll need you to respect yeah. what I'm trying to do because this what we're doing it, it ain't easy. No, it's not. It ain't and just about like you're you're now witnessing. It's not just about turning on the camera, turning on the lights, turning on the microphones. It's it's more. If you guys see in the beginning, I was really nervous. So now he's this good. Is, <laughs> yeah, now I'm good. This is a this is a different experience. So the fact that he's kind of hosting all this, I give him props. That's, that's it's, that's it's tough. It's. It, <laughs> I think I'd rather be on the phone talking about uh, million dollar deals when yeah. I don't even have to look at them, yeah. And then instead of the camera, so I give Dusko props. Appreciate there. you. Appreciate Cheers you. That. Cheers that. The you brought up uh, what's it called? Like the vision, right? Yes. Going you don't. You don't got to. You don't got to see it. So talking about the business, you know, my business, whatever. Uh, my mom, obviously, our parents. Parents, yeah. they have the most fear. So my mom watches these. Shout out, mama. Yeah, shout out, mom, dad. Well, my stepdad. We'll get into that. That's a different story. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like the parents, they're like, "What's the plan B? You need a plan B. Yeah. What if this doesn't work? What if this? What if that? What if that?" Back and then going back to Steve Harvey, he's like, "It's not their vision to see what we what we see. Yeah. It was it was built into us." I can't see what you see and yeah. when you when it comes to this. But I mean I could kinda relate. Yeah. But you have a vision. She has a vision with Facts. this because she's on the same wavelength as you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Me and my partner, we have the same vision. You know, I don't need to see your vision. And I you don't, don't see it. You might not see like, oh, that's who's line, Rolls Royce, two, three years. Yeah, right. But that's that's what I see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what I'm capable of. Man upstairs is telling me. That's it, bro. And that's that's all you Again, need. Again, and we're not, I'm not trying to be religious. We ain't trying to be religious. Yeah, but I mean, it's what, too what, strong. Too whatever, strong. and I, or, uh, what did I hear like two days ago? Just believe in something. Believe in something bigger than you so you can believe in them, right? Yeah. Because, again, all this that's happening in life, it ain't for sure. It ain't permanent. We're just here for a good time, maybe not, not a, a long, long time. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you know, hopefully a long time. Yeah. You know, hope like now that we're we're having two kids, you know, I'm sure you maybe yeah, see some like, kids in the yeah. future. Oh, for sure. For and sure. and how I and how I see it. Yeah. If I chase my dreams, I expect my son and I don't know what we're having next, but chase their dreams. Yeah. And if I tell them You're to chase proof. it, yeah, if I You're tell them proof. to chase it and I didn't chase it, 
Then Who I are did, you? Yeah, I did something Who wrong. are you? You're going to call me saying? a liar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you're, you're, you're paving the way for them. Trying, bro. You, you know, know trying, trying our best, trying my best. You know, it's, it's a team effort. And how you said, three years from now, four years from now, I see a Lambo. I see gift, gifting my friends some cars. And Even the fact that you believe and you feel that, it's God going to. to happen. I need to. It's, you manifest? You yeah, manifest. I need to. Yeah. We manifested this. We, manif- we, we manifested yeah, this. We same. made this happen. Amber? <laughs> Radito was... Uh, he was that shit that no see, but like <laughs> the fact, the fact, yeah, the, but see, the fact that you heard that though is he, it's, he, it's in the it's he in manifested the all of us being there and being really happy. <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Shout out my boy Ralito, but yeah, no, we we said it and how you said it. I I've said it before, bro. I never knew exactly what I was meant to do. I just knew there was something. Listening Big, to the whole thing, yeah. and he said, "You just gotta do it. You gotta try. It. You gotta believe in your gift. Your gift will pay pay your way." Mm-hmm. My gift, and I honestly say it, I'm able to talk to people. I'm able to conversate. Yeah. And how I told Gabby last week, think about all the conversations you have with your best friends, with your close people. See if you can replay that in your head. You cannot because you don't remember every single 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 thing. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're just putting it on camera so you can look back, rewatch it, re-listen every single time you need it. Just how we listen to Nipsey, to Kobe, to The Rock, to all to them. Steve all Harvey. Of all of them. You can replay that video 10, 20, 30, 30 million times. times. A day. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we just did. Mm-hmm. You don't need to listen to the whole hour video, 2 hour videos like you guys listen to other podcasts. But you can at least listen to snippets of what you need. What you need to hear and when what's you need for to hear you it. And when yeah. you need to hear it, that's for yeah. you. Yeah. Because, yeah. so I'm, I want to, right before we end, I want to get into it. Do you have a lot of haters? A lot of people that just said, Justin, you are this. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to do it. Uh, or are you just too for, big? I, I mean, that that told me that I know of. I don't. I don't. I don't think nah. so. But maybe behind the scenes, like everybody might have. I I don't know. So what? But so I want to talk to whoever. I'm gonna cut the. I I really want to get this out. For those people that are struggling with that, what what would you tell them? Now now that you're an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. you're still being continuing and learning. Yep. What would you tell to those young guys that are listening, young females that are listening about being an entrepreneur? To don't give up. <laughs> it's it's going to be very rocky. <laughs> very <laughs> rocky, but you know what you have to stay keep your head on strong for one. Stay positive no matter what. No matter what. Yeah. Um, you just keep your head on a swivel. That's all it is. I mean, you just gotta keep pushing. I know it's gonna, it's gonna push you to your breaking point where you just want to quit. But if you do quit, it's not gonna happen, Fact. no matter what. But if you keep going, you have that that percentage that it might happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So y- you're gonna hit. It's just a matter of when. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know who uh, I seen it. I don't know if it was like on a video. It says it's not a matter if, it's a matter of when. It's a matter of when. Matter of when. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And so the next big question, and your girlfriend's gonna watch this, and I hope she does. Right to the end. Mm-hmm. One to ten, my boy. One being you're struggling. Ten, you're being perfect. Mentally, emotionally, financially, each one. Where are we at? One by one. Emotionally? Emotionally. I'm a 10. Yeah. Oh. Like I've told you, I'm positive. I'm up here. Damn. Mentally, 10. Financially, 1. You know why? Because 10 is we 100 million, 200 million. So we haven't even scratched the surface. So really quick, just because you said 10s, yeah. and for those people that have answered, and when we have posted it, mad love to all those people that responded, how'd you get to 10s? How do you maintain a 10? Okay. Being perfect in that yeah, aspect, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. So I, it is. It is. But my, my girlfriend can. Yeah, she. she we're she gonna. Can, she. Yeah. This we'll, is we'll, your, Maybe we'll get. We'll get. This her is on your here. shout out, Amber. You're yeah. gonna come on, and I hope you come on, and it's gonna be guns blazing, guns and we'll blazing. get your no, story. I'm, I'm emotionally and mentally ten for sure. How did, How did I get there? Uh, it just started young, I guess, because it's just positivity. Yeah. 
I don't see no negative in anything. Your parents and if, positive? Uh, yeah, I mean, Did for the most part, that? you know what? If they have their doubts, they have their yeah. like, just like any other, person. just like any other parent, like Correct. any other parent, any other person. But you know what? I don't know what it is. But for me, I have I see the cup half full, not half empty. I see the positive in anything. Yeah. And I try to take away from that because I refuse to put negativity into my brain because then if negativity and it's just going to fucking domino. Yeah. Domino. Domino. So, um, for one, it's just you need to find the shit that you love yeah. and, ju- and just hang on to it. So, the fact that, okay, let's just say you're having a fucking bad day and you, you, well, you, you love Brittany. You just have to look at her and just feel it in your heart. You know what I'm saying? Simone. Simone. So if you feel that, everything else is just going to change and it's going to fade away. So I have that that's me. So I find love in, like, family. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. take a step back. My grandparents are still alive, so that's that's beautiful. Yeah. You know, we, we've had a, we have had a conversation with yes, that. Yes, sir. Hey, R.I.P. Love. Yes, sir. So the fact that like, I'm like, right. if I had a shitty day with, you know, no deals coming through, like, Sorry, I got tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's going to look up. It's not going to just be fucking rainy cats and dogs forever. You feel me? So you just, like I said, you have to find the shit that you love and just hang on to it and focus on it. There's light at the end of that dark tunnel. There's a light. There's always a light. Always a light. My boy. So be pouring this last shot. So we end this one. If you've tuned in. I this hope you long, tuned in. This is a good fucking video. You better tune you in. You better tune you, in look, and come be, back. Before we even end this, you better like this button, subscribe to the channel. Yes, I, please. I see 70% have not subscribed, so you guys better subscribe to this. I see all I'll of this. I'll fucking find you. <laughs> I'll, I'll find your house, man. Um, what what motivation, what uh, motivational or inspirational comment would you give those young entrepreneurs that are looking up to you are looking up to this and are just following now because now that we heard your story bro yeah, i've yeah. never heard <clears throat> completely i've yeah. i've seen snippets i've never heard completely me myself i'm just like fuck respect yeah, yeah, respect yeah, yeah but all right my goal in life and my and my passion that keeps me going and i'm sure yours now is in leaving something behind and i want to leave something behind for the people that are watching that are just tuning in that really want to know how to do it when to do it and how to keep going so yeah what, okay. what would you so I, I got two quotes sauce one by nip and then one by well steve but from it's a quote from the bible but run it running right so from what i heard from uh, nip he goes you just gotta lay a brick every day instead of trying to lay a brick wall just lay a brick every day and when you look up, you're gonna have a brick wall. You know what I'm saying? Oof. You can't build a brick wall just all at once. You gotta yeah. step by step. One. Two. And we're not talking about construction, boys. We're, not we're, about we're talking about, we're talking about like your, your business, your business, uh, your dream, your even family relationships. Yeah. You just gotta move an little inch. Little by little. Move an inch. Yeah. Move an inch. It took me nine months to get my first deal. Twenty thousand phone calls. People telling me to go fuck myself, die, jump off a bridge. Cause I'm, you know, we were, we were talking to people <laughs> real quick. We were talking about people about, you know, foreclosing, losing their homes, yeah. and you know, people are trying to come and buy it. It's not an easy thing. No. So we we're getting told all those things. Twenty thousand calls. So just lay a brick, lay a brick. All those fucking conversations led me to this point to talk to investors, uh, how witty and you know how to yeah. maneuver and how to really think for these big old complexes. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So it's lay a brick. Another one was, uh, was it? He who loves to sleep at the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. God. So I'm going to say it one more time. We say had, it one more time. For those <clears throat> that did, not, did not hear this. He who loves to sleep, he who loves to sleep at the folding of hands, folding poverty of hands. will set upon you like a thief in the night. So that in my mind is like, if you love to sleep, you love to mosey around, you love to chill. Yeah. Poverty is just going to be on you. So Damn. when I was, well, now still, when we started the business, I was waiting about 4.30 to hit the gym, get my mind right, meditate, vision board, get to work. No lie, because I see this crazy fool sitting next to me, posting 
at 5, 6 a.m. that he's lifting in the gym. Like, who are you? (laughs) Who (laughs) are you? (laughs) Yeah, so... That one, that I'm, that one, I'm getting tatted on my back. That's how, that's how it, it that's resonates. How, yeah. He who loves to sleep at the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. That's, that's fucking, that's heavy. Damn, my boy, I appreciate you. Yeah. This, this was, this is, this is this, nice. This is yeah, nice. We gotta bro. come back round this two when nice. I close one of those big deals. Oh, oh we're gonna, we're gonna run it back again, yeah, and right. we. He is gonna take us. I'm taking Miami. You better leave the babies here. So he's gonna, you know, my boy right here. He he lives life. He enjoys life. And for anybody watching, again, don't judge a book by the cover. Yeah. Follow the journey. Hit the Instagram follow on both on all three pages. Subscribe it. Follow his. If you find one, if you want one of those God shirts, hit the DM. Hit me up. He's gonna be there. Give it to you for free. No worries. And if you have one of those, post that shit, bro. That shit don't die. Why? Because that is vintage. That was a dream that was there, that was set, mm-hmm. and now it, it's still printed. Yeah, it's there. It's printed, I have yeah. mine. I'm going to post that picture. I'm gonna, yeah. Bro, again, do not hate on the process. Do not hate on anybody else. Just keep moving forward. Keep pushing no matter what. Uh, you hear it from the, the people that are already up top. Yeah. And you don't see their story. You don't see what goes behind behind the curtain. Behind closed doors. Behind like everybody, closed doors. How did everybody know about Nip at that point? It's, yeah. He was tragic, selling out this outside the trunk, but you know, you see the, yeah. the S five fifty, you see, you know, yeah, it's like weed. Tra- and the, sadly, you know, a tragic thing had to happen, and everybody yeah. followed. Same, but same thing with with uh, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey now has his talk show and Family Feud. Yeah, all he has this. a bunch of revenues. But you know listen saying? to when he always says it at the end of his show that I live. He lived in this car, and he only had a hundred dollars to his name, so he had to do a couple shows mm-hmm. get to that. To get to the big show, to the Apollo, to get him paid and got him yep, in. So yep, that's again, the story. Follow that's the, the story. journey. This is episode twenty six. You're gonna stay tuned at it, at episode one hundred, and we're gonna do some big things. Get mm-hmm. us to uh, three hundred subs, a thousand followers, or even more, and share it. Again, we're gonna give back. To episode twenty six. So episode twenty six. There it is. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>